I'll do a video tutorial on R and delete. You feel a lot using it. So I've just plugged in an R drive. I'm gonna go to create. Well, I'm just gonna type in create. Go to create format hard disk partitions. So this is disk one. And as you can see, it's unallocated. Accidentally formatted and deleted. So I'm going to open R and delete. So the first thing you want to do, that's your, if you've got a C on it, that's your main hard drive in your computer. You don't want to be touching that one. So this one's the one that I've just plugged in. It's a 500 gigabyte C, uh, C gate. So first of all, I'm going to check the smart. Make sure it's healthy. If it says healthy, you're fine to work on it. That's mainly with hard drives that have got moving parts and that. If you're getting problems, it could cut out on you and you could lose data. So just be wary of that. If it is failing, or even if you just want to, create an image. I'm going to create an image of the entire disk. And you can save it wherever you want. You can put it on a, a different hard drive if you want, or anywhere in your folders. As long as you've got a big enough hard drive to hold it. But I ain't going to create an image on this one. I don't need to do it. But it is a very useful feature. Really easy to use as well, this one is. As you can see, there's a deleted partition there. Partition 1, 80 gigabytes. So I'm just going to click on that one and get it to show files. It's going to do a quick scan. And it's literally found everything already. If it hadn't, you could do a deep scan. And I will do a deep scan and then just cut the recording off and come back when it's done. So it's going to do a deep scan now. It's going to take a while. It's saying 12 minutes. I was expecting longer than that, but that'll do me. Well, I'll be back in a minute when it's done. Right, it's done. As you can see, it's recovered 292,372 files, which is a lot. But this is a Windows installation file folder, uh, disk. So the best thing to do is go to users for this anyway. Select which user you want. I'm going to click on that one. It's going to tell you recovered 6,900 files or 1.7 gigabyte. So even though there's a lot of files, the ones you want are basically in your user folder in your public folder, or you can select all users. And that's only 2.5 gigabytes on this one. So to recover, you just click this box here and recover. It's going to ask you where to. I used to put it to videos because I've never used to go to my videos. And then it's going to recover. It won't recover anything over 256 kilobyte on this one because I haven't paid. You have to upgrade. So it's going to ask me to do that a lot. So I was going to stop it. It would be worth paying for this though. And I probably will do soon. Very well, come out of this because but obviously if it weren't a Windows file, it was just a USB or an external hard drive, you could just go through it and select documents and select which one you want. And pictures the same thing. You've got a lot of them in on this one because it's a Windows disk, but obviously if you just had a external hard drive or a USB, you'd have just your photos in there. But yeah, it's a brilliant bit of software. 
I think it's on discount at the minute as well, so but only for today. <laughs> but it's well worth buying anyway for the original price. It's pretty cheap. It's one of the cheapest and it's one of the best. Easy to use. Got smart data on it and imaging. And it's brilliant at what it does and fast. So I can't recommend it enough. It's really good.